so in this video we are going to talk about a disease involving the tendons of the thumb okay and this disease is known as decurvain tenosynovitis we'll try to discuss disease disease with a clinical case scenario so we have someone who has repetitive activities which involve pinching grasping something pulling things pushing things these activities involve two tendons of the thumb that is shown in this image and these two tendons are abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis the one which are involved in abduction of the thumb and extension of the thumb and all these activities have involving these actions that is abduction and extension now these actions are commonly done in household works like chopping chopping requires grasping the knife and then pushing on it also requires extension at times okay we have vegetables chopping we have stirring using the extension tendon as well as holding it we have scrubbing pots vacuuming cleaning surfaces drying the dishes these all household works somehow is involving the abductor and the extensor pollicis brevis tendon of the thumb and these two tendons pass through the first extensor compartment of our six extensor compartment that we have studied we have the first extensor compartment through which the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis passes and here we have the overwork of these two tendon because of this overwork now we have thickening of the tendon and we have thickening of these two tendons as well as the tunnel through it passes it also thickens now this repetitive activity in household work is common among females who are child bearing newly married so this cases of decurvain tenosynovitis involving the first compartment tendons that is apl and extensor pollicis brevis are commonly seen in females newly married child bearing age who are involved in household work a lot of overuse of this joint and these tendons occur in these cases so now we'll try to discuss how do we diagnose this disease so first we have history of overuse of the joint that is common second we will have tip at the radial styloid pain and the third important test we need to know is this test where the thumb is inside the wrist fist and the examiner ulnar deviates the wrist this elicits pain and is known as finkelstein test okay this finkelstein test is also positive in cases of entrapment of superficial radial nerve and intersection syndrome which involves other tendon of the rest also how do we treat decurvain tenosynovitis actually we have conservative management going on which involves steroid injection and generally because these conditions resolve within one year in cases the condition is not resolving we can go for surgical release of the first compartment also notice this condition is becoming common among hypothyroid patient so these were bits about decurvain tenosynovitis let's revise it so we will have a female who is of child bearing age who is involved in household work and will have history of overuse of the joint with tip of radial styloid pain finkelstein test positive and conservatively treated if not we have surgical release to be done of the first compartment hope you liked it thanks for watching